Hello there and welcome to the new topic which is changing slicer look and feel with the selection type. So, so far you must have seen the slicer which is used as a filter. So, question arises why would you like to change the look and feel? So, the look and feel is sometimes need to change because your organization follows a specific type of look and feel when it comes to colors and fonts and formatting. Another way to use or uh, change the look and feel is so that you can make your dashboard a little bit more beautiful with not just one type of uh, formatting or the look and feel but a slightly different types of selection as a button which uh, Power BI provides for the slicers or the filters. So let's see within the Power BI how you can do that. So here we are within Power BI and if you see this is the uh, this is the slicer that we have and creating a slicer is very easy. So if I just remove that and try to show you again, here we have the slicer icon. If we create that, it, it will going to by default pick a best place where it want to show, but you can drag it wherever you want. You would like to place it. Let's say I want to place it over here and then I need to choose the field which I want within the slicer. So for that, what I am going to let's say choose is the ship mode. So there are different types of ship mode, which is by delivery truck, express air and regular air. And there is some blank values as well. So blank is coming over here. So which is also pretty interesting so that you can look at what are those orders or what are those sales orders in which you have no shipping mode value present and you can then investigate what really happened. Is it like the clerical error? or something else because ideally you should have the value present for each and every order. All right. So if we want to change the look and feel, the one thing, first thing we will going to do is change this from list box to something which is good looking buttons. So earlier, if you would have seen my slicer video, there is one option over here. Here you can change from list. So right now we are in a list mode and we can change it to a drop down, but that is not more of a button which I was uh, referring you. So what I can do is change this back to the list. And then from here we have this format icon. So if we click over here and change uh, from the selection control, I believe that's where it is present. Um, no, it's basically in the general. So in the general you have the orientation. So from orientation vertical, so right now it is in a vertical fashion. That means one over another not side by side. So if you want to create a side by side, what we can do is choose the horizontal. And when we choose the horizontal, the layout of these button changes. So once we click over here, you see that it is sort of a buttons which has now created, which I can uh, change it as per my need. And as I am moving ahead, you can see that right now there is a space for showing two buttons. But if we just increase this, it will start showing you the four different buttons and then you can adjust it as much as you want. So this feels like there are four buttons which has been given. So for example, I can click on delivery truck. It will start showing you the del delivery truck and it's highlighted as well. Similarly, express air. It shows that express air is uh, now highlighted. And if I click on regular air, it will show you the regular air values. Now all of these values are basically uh, the same which is earlier present in the list box but now we have changed the formatting to show it more like a button by just changing the orientation so format and within that in general you change the orientation now a couple of options over here which which is present like the exposition whether you want responsive or not so if we just disable that what you will see is more like uh, a normal text which is present but when you hover your mouse over to the button you will see that uh, there is some highlight uh, gray highlight which is present which once you click uh, is highlighted in black but rest other are showing you or the rest these values uh, if it is not selected or your mouse are not on top of it of on top of these values then it is shown as uh, as the normal text values so that's why uh, uh, some of the formatting option you may want to choose is to play around with and make sure that what makes sense. I will enable the responsive because I want to see this type of icon. And then 
down there you have couple of more options like the alternate text so enter a description that will be read by a screen reader so this is more when uh, some someone is blind and not able to uh, not able to basically uh, see our component and this will going to help them uh, understand what component it is um, similarly you have the selection control so right now we have the single select option off that means by holding down my control key uh, using this option multi select with control since it is enabled i can hold down my control key and enable the regular air but if my single select is on then only one value will be selected and another interesting thing over here is one value will always be selected so this is also one of the way by which you can optimize or run your report faster whenever you are opening it because when you will open it it will only load the data which is related to the selection or the default selection which you would probably always want the user should see uh, and that will going to help you reduce the data which these visualizations are taking during the time of opening up so whenever there is a situation that your application is taking a lot of time and you want to reduce that you use this option all right um afterwards rest of the other items is more like uh, what title you want uh, so for example the alignment if you want the alignment and all right now we have this title which is uh, ship mode so if we enable that all of these options will be enabled to you uh, what should be the slicer header right now it is mentioned as shipping mode the font color and the background color so it's very very straightforward and uh, that's why i'm just rushing over here as to what are the options which is present similarly in the items uh, what sort of font color you want the background color so on and so forth so this is something which i would leave you uh, with to explore further if you have any question you can ask me in the comments but this is at a high level i wanted to show you some of the interesting features which is present in the uh, filter like the button sort of an option which you can use it for the purpose of filtering and make your dashboard look more interactive so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next topic